Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Walk it to your right. Now move it on up. Hey, move it on up. Hey, walk it to your left. Now bring it on back. Hey, bring it on back. Now kick with it. Kick with it. Hop out in. Now kick with it. Step to your right. Now slide with it. Turn to your left with it. Shout out the right stuff, anime, because you know what time it is. <laughs> it is definitely time to unravel goodness with this incredible packaging. You will not find packaging like this anywhere else. Triple layer protection. Just telling you that right now. So watch how I have to be like the the Macho Man Randy Savage. Look, look at all that protection. Look at all that extra protection, bro. But who? Get ready! Get ready, baby! Cause this is ooh, ho, ho, ho. it's here, and you know what time it is. Time to watch me some G Gundam. Oh yeah! Thanks again, the right stuff for this wonderful product. <laughs> the right stuff for the right price. The right stuff, anime. Darko. Just saying. Who? Man. Netflix? See ya. Right stuff? Yes. Now that's the stuff. And we're not talking about Hostess. What's up, guys? Vin's here with the most hype review of the year. Omega huge shout out the right stuff anime for sending this ultimate collection over my way. If you become interested in this amazing hype, then make sure to get the right stuff for the right price, which is currently $38.99 as of right now. So do not miss out on this offer. This would not last, so make sure to cop now, guys. Today, we are reviewing Mobile Fighter G Gundam Collection 1. And this is definitely one of the most hype collections of this year because they were selling out like hotcakes right now. Man, they're really selling out. So, let's look at the visual presentation because this is one of the best visual presentations of the year when I compare the rest of the collections I reviewed in terms of visual representation and so dude like wow the difference is clear with this box art one of the things that is obvious is the fact that this box art is one of the very few Gundam cover arts that doesn't use space as a background. A lot of the Gundam franchise collections I have reviewed always had some kind of space theme to it, which is fine, of course. Space. The final frontier. Space will always be part of Gundam history. The stars, the moon, the mobile suits, explosions, laser dodging, beam rifles, beam sabers, explosions. However, <laughs> it's nice to just mix it up every now and then, and boy, did they do that. Right stuff. They got it. Super sharp, clean imagery everywhere on this front cover. Flames of Fury. Super sharp renders of Domon. My boy Domon Kashu right there, man. My homie, Master Asia, right here with his Gundam. And the unknown Gundam that I will not name for spoiler avoidance reasons in the logo with the super clean and sharp look is just popping out 
like crazy. I mean, look at it. Bottom left hand corner right there doesn't interfere with the look of Master Asia's Gundam. Super clean stands out. Oh, the right stuff. I also like the nice touch at the top right hand corner as you see here where you have the Japanese print along with the words volume one which reminds me of like a cover of a manga. I mean it's just the right stuff. Very unique front cover. I love it so much. So once again as you look at the spinal part of the cover art here, the spinal portion of the case once again unique design i mean you have like a white border around domon's gundam which is like right here with an orange font white clean consistent font that matches the font used for the words volume one on the front and all of this is followed by consistent color scheme when i say consistent color scheme i'm talking about the color scheme of the flames that were displayed on the front of the case so let's go ahead and look at the back and oh my more clean super clean renders of the current gundam fighters that represent each colony i mean we have george the Sant, then we have the homie argo then we have the the homie chibodi that's how they say it. It's, it's for some reason when I watch the series, they say it so fast it sounds like Jimity Crockett, but it's more like Chibody, you know, Chibody Crockett. And then we have Saisashi. And then one of the things that I really love about this when you look at the back <clears throat> is the fact that I just love the placement of the Gundams that represents their respective fighters. I just love how it looks. I mean, when I look at it, it just looks like a great tattoo idea. It really does. Looks like a tattoo like this would really hurt the whole. I'm just saying. So, then another thing that I really love about this is how unique the thumbnails look. I mean, the thumbnails of the videos. I mean, look at this. The thumbnails look so awesome. It screams out action. I mean, the thumbnails are tearing out of the back of the case. I mean, it just looks magnifique. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is look at the inside and talk about the inside. And boy, oh boy. Holy moly. You see that? You see that? Oh my gosh. Look at all of that. Oh, let's pull it out. Oh, look at that bodacious box art. You have everybody in their fighting attire. And then you have, I'm, I'm not going to say what's going on up here. That's kind of like a spoiler type thing. I don't want to spoil that for you. But man, oh man, this art just looks straight hype. Everyone is ready to go in. Ooh, you know what? I need to calm down, really. So I think I'm going to stop right there. If you're wondering what these labels are up here, basically these are just the um, titles of every episode in the top left hand corner of this collection. <laughs> the right stuff. Now let's look at the um, CD covers. And I mean, <laughs> yo, the CD covers are just super clean, super crisp. You have that consistent font that you find on the front cover once again. Super clean logo. And then every disc basically um, displays, you know, the Gundam Fighters. Gundam, which is just so super clean. I mean, there's nothing much more to say. Crispy and clean. It, did I say crispy and cream? I mean, crispy, clean, like Rice Krispies treats. Snap, crackle, pop, 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 pop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot to read what we have on the back here. I was like, just too hyped that I just. Forgot to read the back, so let me go ahead and do that. Gundam Fight! Ready? Go! This year is Future Colony 60. It is time for the Gundam Fight Tournament. Each country sends a Gundam to Earth for this prestigious tournament. 
in the hopes of winning power and glory for their homeland. But this time, there's an unseen evil lurking behind the scene. Domon Kashu, Neo Japan's reluctant fighter, is determined to uncover this evil and clear his family name. The fight to the top begins now! I, I just felt like doing that with an epic voice, right? So it includes episodes 1 through 24, clean openings 1 and 2, as well as the clean ending 1. So let me go ahead and read what we have at the bottom. The video is 4 to 3 aspect ratio, 1080p, high definition. Um, I'll talk more about that later in the review, because there's a point I really have to throw at you. And then we have, there's also subtitles for English as well as English dub, along with the original Japanese voice acting. How many minutes does that say? 600 minutes of heart pounding action for this. And then the audio is English and Japanese, which I just mentioned, PCM stereo. So, all right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and get on with the review portion. Oh, I'm so hyped. The fact that you are still here means that you want to learn more about this hype all of this this is the hype sauce right here this is the hype of the year so as you're watching and want to purchase this legendary masterpiece then use the link in the description section below to get the right stuff for the right price $38.99 while this sale is still around so we're gonna go ahead and start by doing a quick summation of the main plot of G Gundam. So it starts out like this. The former countries of Earth have fled to space due to the lack of resources available on Earth. Each country has their own space colony and eventually conflict grew between those neighboring colonies. Now, to prevent war between the space colonies, they've decided to use Gundams to take part in a tournament to determine who will rule. But the problem here is, Earth has now become the arena to house the tournament, which results in death and destruction to all of those who still reside on Earth. The story surrounds itself around the character that goes by the name Domon Kashu. Domon is the homie, but let me get, don't get sidetracked. He is a Gundam fighter who represents co the colony of Neo Japan. And Domon is searching for a man that goes by the name of Kyoji because of the role he played in the destruction of Domon's former peaceful life. One can say that Domon is using the Gundam fights as a way to gather information to increase his chances of catching up to Kyoji to obtain closure. The other fighters that are involved in this series um, also have their own hopes and dreams and each of the main fighters represents their own country. And so as each fighter exchanges fists relationships grow and eventually turns into friendships. Now the most interesting thing about the major fighters in this series is that they will gain a crest and this crest strongly represents the faces of playing cards. Now I'll keep the rest a mystery for you to learn and enjoy because I don't want to give out any serious spoilers. So why don't we go ahead and talk about the things that I noticed and the things um, that I want to share regarding G Gundam when I compare G Gundam to the rest to the other series that are out there. When I compare G Gundam to the other Gundam series, the thing that really stands out the most is the simplicity of the story. I mean, the, the series is not overly saturated with political concepts which means people don't have to understand politically tied events that contribute to the story in some way. I mean, when I look at this, it's just kind of like one of those things where people can kick back, relax, and enjoy the goodness, you know what I mean, without, without all the confusion. And so, sometimes political discussions, like 
in between pivotal moments can mess with the flow of action. So I find this to be a very nice compliment to this series because I feel like this series is a bit more action oriented. Um, this series doesn't have drawn out backstories for the major fighters you encounter as well. I mean, the stories are done well enough for you to become more interested in the character. So, I mean, it all works out the, at the end due to the fact that the backstories were well placed. Um, the action of the series is really well done. Each fighter has their own style of fighting, which results in an array of moves that are more of close quarters combat instead of nothing but pew 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 pew, pew. You know, nothing but laser dodging and gunfire. Um, and the animation of the battles add on to the entertainment that I get. I mean, because of the clean and fluid motion when they move, as well as the boost of the Blu-ray quality. I mean, Blu-ray just enhances the experience in every way. I mean, look at the screenshots! I mean, come on, the color pops and you get a better glimpse of the detail. I mean, that's the right stuff, people. I'm just saying. Um, and please do not let the 4 to 3 aspect ratio fool you, okay? Do not let that fool you. This series is old, so forcing widescreen on it would only reduce the overall visual quality. And Right Stuff did an amazing job improving the visuals without ruining the other properties of the video. It's, it kind of reminds me of how um, I do things as a content creator, you know, um, because let me give you an example. If I was to blow up the size of a Pokemon game, well, the picture would look far worse, because like, Pokemon, the big Pokemon titles that are popular and everyone like to watch is more of the retro kind. The, Pokemon games that you play on the DS's and the Game Boy Advance Game Boy Color so the screen is technically small so eventually as you make it bigger like the quality of that picture gets worse so you can only upscale it so much and that's what I'm getting at there so um, Right Stuff knows how to deliver the best quality Awesome. Don't forget about the packaging that I talked about previously. Um, I am extra excited to say that the English dub, dub, I hope I said dub right, is just how I remember it. The same exact cast. So you don't have to worry about hearing disturbing, unfamiliar dialogue. You know, like that would kind of just mess things up for people that's a huge fan of the series. So I'm glad that all of that is intact. NOTHING IS CORRUPTED! Um, the lip syncing is also on point as well. You know, so you're not gonna have to worry about watching something that looks like this. Like, YOU WILL PERISH. YOU WILL DIE. You know, you don't have to worry about stuff like that, so no worries there. Everything about this series is A1 steak sauce. This series has sold out extremely fast at launch, so that should prove that this was a series everyone had their eyes on. So get it as soon as possible by using the link in the description section. And so with that said, I have to give this series... Ten reigns out of ten. So remember, if you want the right stuff, then go to rightstuffanime.com. Thanks again for watching and be blessed and make it rain.